I would say I was always the the wrong kid. I was the one that, you know, I was just there. Um, not really anything important. Uh, didn't have a lot of friends. I had, uh, I had a lot of self-esteem issues. Um, I got drunk a lot. I spent a lot of time having alcohol um, pretty much any time I could. I realized that um, I might be ugly, but if people have enough alcohol, it doesn't matter. So I became what a lot of people would deem promiscuous, and it gave me attention. And I needed that, not not because of them, I needed it for me. People would always say, you know, you're made in God's image. And I would say, well, why would God want that for himself? I got pregnant at the age of, right after high school, so at the age of 18. I married a man who, to say he was a monster, was probably the understatement of the year. October 17th, 2017, there was a knock on my door. And as I wait to open the door, I hear FBI open the door. And over the next course of the year, I read some things that no wife, no human, no mother should ever read. During that year, um, I was sitting in a park um, with a bottle of pills. And I thought how easy it would be to take them. In that moment, I realized that um, I wouldn't want any bus to raise my kids. Um, in 2019, I made the decision to come back to Indiana. My sister and I uh, attended George Capital, and I sat in the same spot every Sunday for the longest time. I met someone at church who mentored me and made me realize that um, I can't be in my own self. This has to be about God. Um, they taught me a lot about the different aspects of life, not just the, the, the narrow version of life that I see. Even with all of my mental illnesses and all of my, my struggles, God made me for who I am, and He's never not been there. It took me a really long time to realize when they say that you're made in God's image, they're not talking just the physical part because I'm beautiful the way God made me.